Oh, it is a Tesla. The technology that has changed that's forcing fire departments to get away from fire hoses and move to blankets? <laughs> Electric vehicles definitely have brought a new challenge. The problem is that uh, the batteries, they're an energy storage system, so they contain a huge amount of energy into a really small space and then they're protected very well inside of the vehicle. So in order to get access to those batteries is what causes all of the problems with extinguishing the fire. So to put things in perspective, the amount of water coming out of hoses like this for a typical car fire, about 500 gallons. For EV fires, again, about 30,000 gallons of water. So we've had to develop some new practices in fighting these fires. The standard way to extinguish a fire, we either have to remove the fuel, we have to remove the heat, which is what we use water for, or we have to remove the oxygen. So that's the basis of the fire blanket, is we're creating an air pocket around that vehicle. We make it as small as possible. Um, and once that oxygen has been consumed, then that helps to prevent that fire from spreading or getting any worse. If we're using that blanket on an electric vehicle, the minimum's an hour that, that's going to take to help prevent or to stop that fire and burning process. Um, the blankets that we have are a one-time use blanket, so we are going to secure the blanket around the vehicle and it's going to stay with that car permanently. So while it's getting towed away, once it's in the tow yard, that blanket's going to stay with the vehicle uh, because problems have been found where electric vehicles start back on fire two or three days later and then cause a whole nother problem in the vehicle storage yards. A firefighting advancement forced by technological advancement. Stay up to date with our latest Solutionaries videos. Hit subscribe and leave us a comment below.